what's up connect welcome back for another react and discuss with connected i am very excited for today's but you know before we get into that i am marie i am joined by candy and sam sorry i have literally been avoiding this music video for like two <laughs> weeks now and i've been hi uh, hiding from spoilers from twitter from you. our discord from everything and today's the day where i finally get to watch astro we're gonna yeah. we're going to react to astro knock if you guys don't know what React and Discuss is, R&D is where we go over some of the latest music videos. We talk about them. We discuss them in detail. But you guys get to watch our reactions first before we actually go into our discussion. So, since I think I am the only Aurora here, they do appreciate oh, Astro. I do. But they are not Auroras. <laughs> I'm ready to turn this on. Are y'all ready? Because I might. Let's get it. Let's yeah. get it. All right. Let's get it. And there's signs and star that's Jewish. I no, can't stand you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, time. Flower. Oh, the end. Oh. Oh, I love Light these suspenders. I was like, he is fine. Okay. <laughs> we haven't formally oh, met. They look so pretty. <laughs> They are. These are very vintage outfits. Oh, that's our profile. Get it. So I may have to turn you guys down because I want to hear them more. They, I love this aesthetic. Mm hmm It's so soft. Ooh. Okay, Rocky. Oh. Okay. I like it. I like his, his like, flow. Yeah, right? Flow. His right after the same thing, I was like, oh, that's Told y'all. But even the how he the singing too, the singing flow is really dope. Oh, he it's, breaking it down. Who is this? Hey, it. What? What? Moonbin. Moonbin. Wow. Yeah. And then he was in the water, so he's gonna splash up a little bit. I see it now. I've been I, telling you, you guys have been sleeping on these men. Oh, the universe! Oh, with all the planets. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. Oh, I like this outfit. Oh. Yes, water dance. You see it, you see it, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, you heard that? Da, 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 I love that, that up and down. My baby, you see him? <laughs> I need those earrings. Uh -huh. Oh, my family, I like this. No, this is my family, so my family is like that. I'm gonna need Jinjin not to come in rapping like that. Oh, wait, well, how come he's not featured a little bit more? I was, you know, where you at? Dang, it's new planet. Some of these aren't. Wait, wait, what was that dance for? It was, it was tons of planets. And, and... I need to watch the dance version of this. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm telling y'all, you will fall in love with Boombin if you. Is he, oh! is he the main dancer or yes. lead dancer? Ooh. Ooh. I like. I like the hair back just now. But yes, the silver hair. Ooh, yeah. Um, mm. That 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 outfit he had in front of himself in front of that thingy. Oh god. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Yes and yes. No. Oh wait, there's more. Oh. That turn. Like, yeah. You have to look, man. That's where it's gonna end. That I'm like, that's where it's gonna end is with y'all staring into my soul. I feel that. <laughs> we are gonna take a quick intermission and we're gonna watch this again so i can fully take in the greatness that is astro um and we'll be right back with our discussion portion so see you soon um we we just gonna talk about this because we we got mm -hmm. i'm glad they got to experience astro i can say that 
Um, let me just back you up there. It's not like I've never heard a song. I just didn't know their names. <laughs> okay. But now you do. So let's go ahead and what did y'all what did y'all think? Like this also just to start this one a lot of um showcase music showcases so far. I think it took two or three. So yeah. I'm very proud of them. They are they are doing good in the ratings and the polls. Okay. What, what do you think made people really gravitate to it, like for them to be winning? Like what well, do you think mostly stood out to people? I just wanna know what you think. Well, I feel like they've slowly transitioned. Like, their music has a very specific sound to it uh, from the beginning, mm-hmm. from when they first debuted. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then from All Night and then to mm-hmm. Blue Flame, like, it's slowly coming more into, I can understand where this music video is coming from. Because a lot of people, when they first think of Astro, they think of that bubblegum pop but boy version, which they mm-hmm. do, and they do it mm-hmm. very, very well. So yeah. this more melodramatic type feel, it's more mm. toned down. It's more, right. even though some people said that this didn't tell a story, this did tell a, a very specific story, actually. So mm-hmm. I think because it is, even though it's slightly more towards the trends of what people are looking for when it comes to music, like it's hitting that for the K-pop scene mm-hmm. with what other people are doing, but it's also uniquely Astro to me because mm-hmm. everything about them is a little different. Like a lot of people don't expect their rappers to be as strong as they are. Or Ooh. they don't expect their dancers to be as strong as they are just because I don't feel like they're in the spotlight as much as some of these other groups. Just mm-hmm. the whole package of this, though, I think was very well put together. There are a few things I'm like, I wish they would have done X, Y, and Z, but still mm-hmm. overall, like, I just mm-hmm. I just love this. this. This is a song I can listen to over and over, I think. I'm glad. So, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. okay no, so. no. Go ahead, Sam. No, I was just going to say that I like, I agree with you on listening listening to it over and over again like i could actually to be quite honest i think i enjoyed the song a little bit more than the video i don't mind the way the video went um i there wasn't much of a like a storyline or a plot which is okay it's it's not in the video clearly but it's it's more in the lyrics as you if you watch mm. it with the lyrics on yeah the so, context in context yes. with yes. the lyrics yeah, exactly so that yeah, when you do read the lyrics for the video, that's when it starts to make a little bit more sense. So mm-hmm. this one, I would say it is important or it might be a little bit better if you want to know what is going on by having the lyrics on. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, because the lyrics go very well. Out, yeah. That, that's what connects it. You're right about that. Yeah. And the, the, the just watching it the first time without the lyrics, it, it still sounded good. So I wasn't yeah. like taken aback like, oh, uh, you know, I don't even really know. I wasn't so, so much interested in what they were saying because it sounded so good. But I'm glad that we did look at it with the lyrics because the lyrics drew it in, like it brought it all together. So yeah. a couple of lines or certain things that stood out to me was um, searching for you, going to find you. So I know that that's one of the con, that's some of the context, like, all right, they're in space and they have like this time theme going on because mm-hmm. maybe they lost the person or maybe they're not with the person anymore. And they're just like, I, I want to find you again. And then you know, search for you through the galaxies and the universe and the planets. Um, I thought that was really <laughs> sweet and cute. Um, there was a part that, what What else did I say about this? The, the rap flow was very, very dope. Oh, yeah. Engine especially. I was just like, okay, all right. I, I, I understand. I see you. I comprehend. Um, and there was another few, Brightest Star, and that you're the star he said something about the star being radiant and you're the brightest star i guess in in his world so that's mm-hmm. why he's looking for her again and i was just like yeah like even if i know most of the time they're not necessarily talking about specific people most of the time they're talking about their fan base which is really cool like, yeah I, I don't know astro that well so do you guys know their uh, aurora fans? huh aurora, aurora. which <laughs> also yeah. aurora, aurora which also if you think about this outer space theme and like the aurora mm-hmm. in space and Kind of yeah, together. that's good. I like that, I, and I'm glad that you informed me about that because it it kind of helps me tie in everything. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I just to me this is this would be something that it's better to know or like watch with the subtitles on because it does help you draw in the themes and the concepts and like you know makes every put everything together so it makes more sense. I will add mm-hmm. that's if you don't know Korean. If you do know Korean, then you know then you don't need the subtitles. You're you did. Um, <laughs> I will add to the lyrics um, because the beginning, mm. it, the first part, it says, I want to be your star. And yeah. then, so he, if she's, or they are, they're brightest star. So mm-hmm. they want to be your brightest star. Um, but also, how long are you going to walk with a broken heart? 
And they kept Mm -hmm. talking about going back, if we can go back and change things, if we can go back and fix this so you don't have to go through this. So the interdimensional planet, like, that makes sense to me because it's like, what can we do to change time and fix it Mm -hmm. so you are no longer going through this pain? I just want to be what makes you happy because you're what makes me happy. So it's Mm -hmm. just, like, all-encompassing. It's great. And, yes, you're right. Jinjin and Rocky, that, that combination of rappers, honestly, on point, um, mm-hmm. I think it's so unexpected, even though, like, I look at them and I'm like, oh, actually, no, I don't look at Jinjin like, oh, you're a rapper, like, you're you're a leader and he's so soft and squishy. So when he raps, oh. I'm like, oh, and then Rocky is our Makne, so he is, like, the mm-hmm. he's the baby in the group. So to hear his flow and how okay. strong it is, yeah, I love seeing his charisma. So, like, he shine. they both shine. And neither of them are my biases, but they both shine in their own right. <laughs> Um, I would love personally to have more of their rapping, but I know mm-hmm. they're not a rap-heavy group, so it makes sense. But I would mm-hmm. love to hear more of it because they do have very strong rappers, in my opinion. So yeah. and they don't showcase them as well as I think they can. I'm not saying they mm-hmm. don't, but they just they sometimes. And in this video, I feel like they could have had a little bit more. But you know, hearing Unu's voice, I mean, I'm never mad at that. And Sanha's mm-hmm. notes and MJ, their notes were just crazy. Like yeah, every the vocally. And flow and all of that. This video was great. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I'll okay, let you talk. So I have thought. I'll let you talk about Moonbanks. I know you're gonna say it. But I didn't want to take no. Your that wasn't <laughs> what I was going with. I was actually gonna talk about the concept oh. and what I Ooh. thought it was. Mm-hmm. And for me, from the beginning, I felt like, like Sam said, the time is passing. This is before I looked at the mm-hmm. lyrics. That mm-hmm. time has a lot to do with what where they are now. Without exactly. time, they wouldn't know you. And without time, they wouldn't grow apart. And without time, they wouldn't grow the connection again, right? Mm-hmm. If the star, okay. So you know how in the background it's black mm-hmm. and they don't brighten it up yet? Mm-hmm. I feel like that's saying like my universe without stars, without their fandom is dark. There's no planets, there's no stars, and it's just us, right? Mm-hmm. And as time goes by and it grows, the fandom grows, the stars come out, the planets come out, some bigger, some smaller than others. So like, some fan, you know, some fans are like more active than right. others. Am I getting this right? No, this that happened. sounds great. Like I'm. Yeah. I, okay, ahead, so continue. He said, uh, "Oh, okay." So I, I was like, "Yeah, you." I was alluding that the stars are what brightens up their universe, mm-hmm. and so the this this scene, it's been it was dark the entire time until we start introducing the planet and him walking up the staircase. It's like time keeps going, but we're not going anywhere without you. Right. So there was another part where they talk about um, feeling your presence. And I feel like that also speaks to their fandom. Cause it's like all mm-hmm. fandoms is the unspoken thing that we love the groups that we love. So feeling their presence is what fills them with love. Mm-hmm. And they have to remind themselves of that. And that kind of flows into getting somewhere in time like mm-hmm. in time will grow our love and i'll feel it all the time right so there's this one part in the video where i think moonbin was dancing behind him the like at t- towards the beginning of him dancing mm-hmm. there was like a clock and then it turned into a flower and i felt like that symbolized like in time will bloom together like we'll go you know your flower we'll grow grows in the time yeah so let me put that out the way so the vintage outfits I actually really love and what makes them more vintage than other like suits or stuff oh. like that. Um, the cut of one of their suits is is like kind of not outdated, but is very like period piece in like the 50s, 40s, oh. like in that range. Mm-hmm. And then also the triple button on men's pants is something that's also very old. And I felt like their clothing kind of symbolized time as well. Like we're going back in time and then we're moving forward as they change into the darker suits. Like the blue suits was like beginning and then the darker suits is like the the towards the now, like the, mm-hmm. I guess the end, not the end of time, but like the, it modernized it just a little bit more than it was wow. at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then um, I need more scenes with Jinjin. I felt like when he was rapping at the end, I wanted to see him again. And they took a, a large ch- chunk of time where he wasn't even there. And for someone that this is their first Astro video in a long time, and I don't know the members yet, I'm just hearing a voice and I'm like, who is that again? Like, oh. I don't know yet. I haven't, you know put the face in the name, but now I know because I watched it more than once, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, Moon Ben's dancing. I yeah. love a good dancer. He 
It reminds me how in Love Scenario, Dune, how he came out and he was like, Sign. I was like, hold on, wait. Mm-hmm. Hold the phone. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that like yeah. command yeah. that he has when he's dancing. Mm-hmm. I know I'm talking a lot. I got a lot of notes. Oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up after wait, this. Wait, well, you're, you're talking about dancing, so I would like to also yeah. say choreography wise, this is one of their more intense choreographies in general. Really? Um, they were. I did read a few interviews about this, and they were saying that this is the first one where they like stamina wise, they did not stop dancing. So like the entire time, like where there's a break. No, they're going hard the entire mm-hmm. time. And so the more you watch this, the more I'm like, they really are just moving this entire time. Um, So they said that this was one of the more choreography based challenging ones for them. And I can see why. And it paid off because they look amazing. Their little dance break, instrumental in the middle, like all of that, everything they're doing, they they hit in it. And they look good doing it. I want to say this last part, but it's like, is real overwhelming is about the entirety of the video. I do agree that I, when we first watched it, I swear I would have given it a different score because I had what Sam felt is like, I like the song more than I like the video. But now that I'm like, I had time to digest the video with the song, I think it's perfect because the singing and rapping along with the video was, it gave me effortless. It gave me Mm -hmm. like, transitionally i wasn't thinking oh this is the rap part is more like the beat didn't have to really change to do that they Mm -hmm. did add some more um complexity at the 30 second mark they added more like a little hip-hop undertone before anybody rap this is just still singing and um after that there isn't many levels to say like oh you know the beat drop like how we watched and got seven Mm -hmm. was more complex in in terms of the range but in this it was just like oh start rapping and that's why i think it was more surprising to me and Sam, because we're like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, so there's no like indication that this is going to happen, yeah, right? Do it. Um, both the rappers play well off of each other. They they remind me of like Monster X's, um, I am and Juhan, mm-hmm. where like they go together like peanut butter and jelly. Like that's how I felt like mm-hmm. the flow was between the two, especially at the end when they were rapping off of each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and the video was. Not overwhelming, and I think that's the point. The point was supposed to be about you mm-hmm. and not like and, and the point was supposed to be about the boys. I think if this was their debut song, perfect because the camera wasn't moving too much that I couldn't recognize like who is that person. Like I could clearly see he's a dancer, I could clearly see he's a rapper, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and then it felt simple and sophisticated. Like, Mm -hmm. the song is simple and sophisticated. The music video is simple and sophisticated. I don't think it was supposed to be like, boop, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. I'm done. Well, (laughs) this this was great, ladies. Um, Yeah. Last thing I have to say, Stan Astra, if you don't, go listen to their (laughs) discography. I'm going to say they're B-sides. I don't care what group it is, actually. Go listen to B-sides, because they will tell a very different story of a group that you will not have been expecting. And Astros, they're no different. They're B-sides on point. You like this type of song? They have more. Go listen. So with that being said, let's rate this. Uh, planets were a big thing. So can we rate this out of planets? All right. What are y'all's ratings? I will start. I'm going to give this a 8.5 out of 10. Okay. Okay. Sam? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 as well. Solely because I do believe that I would like more rapping with mm. their songs. And I think this would have been a great song to do that with. Yeah, they did yeah. so well with it. I was like, that's it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us for Reactive Discuss. Oh, shoot. I forgot to say something. Oh. So okay. I just wanted to say, you know, the part where they were hugging each other? Like, yes. when they sing Sa- it. Sa- Sa- it, it huh? Yes. That kind of, I wanted to say this because sometimes guy groups can be a little bit over-sexualized when they're, like, touching mm. each other. It may seem mm. like it's a more, like, sensual moment, but it was just elegantly done. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Everything about <laughs> just elegant. But if you guys want to find uh, more stuff for Connected, you can follow us on any of our social media accounts. We got Twitter, we got Instagram, we got Facebook, we got YouTube, which, you know, YouTube, hit that subscribe button right down there. You can hit that and you can follow us. But you can find us at Connected, K-O-N-N-E-C-T-D-E-N-T. Mm. And follow us on any of them. We hit you guys back. If you guys have any comments, you agree with the video, you don't like what we said, you have something you want to add, put it down below in the comments. Let us know. We want to hear you. Also, 
if you guys want to um, hear our podcast, we do have a connected podcast where we go into more detail about different things that happen to do with K-pop, with Asian entertainment in general. And that's on Spotify and iTunes and SoundCloud. It is Connected Podcast. So that being said, bye.